Hi and welcome to Whiskey Pilgrim and to another review on my re-review chapter, the H, no, no, not the H, of course, not yet. <laughs> the Promised Land re-review, yeah. Today, I have a whiskey with me here, it's a Tomatin, it's a bottle your own whiskey, distiller exclusive. Um, they had five whiskeys you could choose from, the bottle your own, a virgin oak, a PX, sherry, an Oloroso. Um, Virgin Peaks, Oloroso, and a bourbon, and they also had a 27 year old one, yeah, single cask. That one was a little bit too pricey, I think about 250, 270 euros, not pounds, but still, could be cool if I had the money on it. But I didn't, so I bought this one, um, I bought two actually, just to tell a bit quick about that. This is at the bottom number 665, and I also have the bottom number 666. Cool, right? No, um, I would not have that bottle if it wasn't 666. If it wasn't for a guy who bought it in line, yes, so he could get to his bus group, tour group. Yeah, that's why I think he got very pissed apparently. As I found out that he didn't get that bottle, so uh, lucky me, bad for him. That's why you should never butt in line, people. Never, no, but still, quite an A thing to do, but anyway. Um, yeah, it's just a bottle your own, it's about 12 years old, 56.2% and it was a uh, cast number 5,221, yeah. And it's a Royal Russell, so I paid around 85 pounds I think for this one, so yeah, let's get to it. Mm -mm -mm. Oh, God damn it. Oh, it is just uh, heavenly sweet and creamy, chocolatey, honey. The sherry is not harsh or anything, it's just very nice. Definitely milk chocolate, cafe latte maybe, cappuccino. There's some salted caramel as well, salted caramel latte perhaps. Or Frappino. Oh, god damn it. There's the raisins again. Some plums and all that, but they're more sweeter than rough. Incredibly nice, incredibly nice. Oh, god. And also tobacco I can get here. Tobacco. As well, but it's just a nice and creamy, milky, a little bit dark chocolate, but most creamy, milky. Ah, oh, god damn it, I could smell this one a lot. It's really nice, single cask, so it's quite nice. Um, what more should I say about the smell? There's some licorice as well, of course. There's some tobacco, very tobacco thing over this one, and the raisins and the sherry and the creamy milky thing. Yeah, really nice nose, really nice nose, seriously. But the tobacco is very there, you know, very interesting, I think. I know you can get tobacco on the sherry whiskeys, but this one you can really smell the tobacco. Not like it's been smoked a little bit, it's not a peated whiskey, I should say, so yeah. But um, let's get into the palette now. Cheerio! Ho ho ho! Burns a little bit on the tongue. You get the tobacco, the creamy milk chocolate, some orange. Uh, Christmas spice, spices, ginger, uh, clove, cardamom, some licorice as well, coffee, mm. bloody hell, bloody hell, yeah, ah, oh, really good, really good. I'm not gonna do this too rush, but ah, oh, it's good. Mm. 
Also some berries as well, little raspberries or strawberries. Mm. But that's fabulous, 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 seriously. Mm. Yeah. It's just really nice whiskey. A really nice whiskey. I did not try the Virgin Oak, the Bourbon, the PX. I was just interested in this one. It's gonna show the color in this bottle. It's really nice. So yeah. There we go. There you go. Let's see if we can get a good zoom in on this one. Hopefully. And that's the color. Really beautiful color. Yeah. Really beautiful. And it also comes in this oh, nice presentation box. <laughs> you can open it like this. It's in there. Mine did it. This one in here did get loose, unfortunately, on my way home. So yeah, that's all it is. But, yeah, you can still close it nice and slowly and good. I have it on the top of my shelves. Yeah, some information here as well. Yeah, it's a nice whiskey. It's a nice whiskey. I didn't say it on my errand, small batch, but if you ever visit a distillery, I would highly recommend you to, to at least try a bottle of your own whiskey. If you want to buy something special at the distillery shop, because sometimes um, the typical core range can sometimes be very expensive there. And I have seen that on a few occasions actually, that um, some of them are actually cheaper in Sweden when we have really high taxes on alcohol. It's quite interesting, but yeah. And that's how it is sometimes. Uh, it's a really nice whiskey. I don't think they have this this just this cask left there now. I know Scotch Testovis got some sample package from Tomatin. So yeah. It is what it is, and they had a really good review on there. I think it was like a live stream. I think they did. Really good. Check it out. And yeah. Fabulous. 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 Yeah. Fabulous whiskey, really nice. I've not tried that many tomatoes. I think this is this one and their 14 year old, I think I tried. So I'm not that familiar with it, but this is really nice. It's not that, um, yeah, big of a distillery in some ways. Oh, I did like, I did actually try a 30, 30 year old whiskey, three, three and a zero year old whiskey. Yeah, I found Beer Whiskey Festival this week, it was. So yeah, that was fabulous, just with my children and bourbon cask. I wish I did buy one, if I'm known how it taste, but that's life, that's life, yeah. But this one is really nice, if you're tomato, I would highly recommend you to try their single cask bottle your own, if you are wanting to spend that extra money on it. But yeah, really nice, really nice. And I will say to you all, share you and take care. <laughs>